Last week, I made a video talking about what happens when TikTokers actually fall off, because it happens a lot, but it's not very well documented. Well, Joshua Block is one of these examples, World of T-Shirts. He was known for doing tours all across New York, and then he partook the drink quite a lot, to the point that that was his entire career, getting blackout drunk every single day. I talked about how he completely fell off. Well, since that video came out, he has actually fell on again, and he's gained more relevance than ever. But believe me, this is the worst form of clout imaginable, because like I said in the previous video, Josh stopped drinking on camera, because his manager, Michael Quinn, said to him, that's not a good idea, it makes you look bad, and there are accounts, like for example, the Drink Tracker, who is most famous for documenting how much he drinks, how much it costs, how much it's affecting his blood alcohol level, and how many calories he's taking in. Michael, Josh's manager, didn't like- Michael! Don't leave, don't leave me, me here! Michael! <laughs> Michael didn't like that, so told Josh to stop drinking. Not for him to get help or, you know, rehabilitation, but to just basically stop doing it on camera. So Josh stopped doing it. And that caused his entire account to basically flatline overnight. But now he's had a supercharge because it's been St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> And one thing that's known about St. Patrick's Day is there is a lot of people and a lot of drinking, which Josh has been doing. And I'll be honest, the past 48, 72 hours, I have never seen him drink more. He drank on St. Patrick's Day. He drank a couple days after. He drank at the airport. And then he drank at the bar when he arrived at his home destination, which is... Uh, Tremendous levels of down bad. So we remember World of T-Shirts, right? I did a video on him a couple days ago. It was titled something like, you know, what happens when you fall off of TikTok? Now, the really sad thing is he started drinking again only because he realized that he was falling off. So Josh would make all these videos where he was drinking excessively. And then he also got the attention of people that were tracking his alcohol. So yeah, it was usually just him looking at the camera or then drinking or something. And it's pretty obvious he's learning impaired as well. But he would do these tours like all across New York as well. Sound isn't available, so he's literally just yapping to no one. Great. So he did that for a little bit. He was drinking a fair bit, going all over the place. He did these tours in New York and usually he'd go into a bar. Oh, okay, so this is all when he was sober. Well, he wasn't sober. Basically, he had a huge drinking problem. It's the only reason he got famous. And then people kind of realized that this is funny, but also we're kind of enabling, but also kind of funny. But what he stopped doing is showing himself... Th this is one of the last videos where he's shown himself drinking. And I can't even play it because there's no sound. But that's like a, a Twisted T tall boy. And I think that's like two or three standards. I'm, I'm not even sure. But yeah, look, look at that look on his face after drinking. You can tell he just absolutely hates it. Like he does not enjoy drinking. But there's also a part of me that thinks he's like being a bit of a react dandy, like playing up to it. It's like, oh, if I act like I don't enjoy the drink, then that one went viral. So maybe I'll just do it with every other drink. There's him with some zin as well. Snus is very bad for you. And then people started scouring his account, right? You know, it's like, oh, there's a receipt. Is there alcohol in there? Is there alcohol? Is there alcohol? A Perini? I gotta guess that's alcohol. I have no idea. But yeah, it was a bit of a drought for a while. Wasn't really any kind of content. Nothing at all. Because he has a manager called uh, Michael Quinn. And this guy basically... It's so obvious that this guy hates the drink tracker. The drink tracker is a guy who would compile all of Josh's videos of him drinking to show how dangerous it was what he was doing with like his blood alcohol and stuff. And then it was obvious that Quinn told Josh, bro, you got to stop drinking. Like, like, stop yourself. But look at, look at these views. These views here, these are the kinds of views he was getting now. This is someone with a, a few million followers on TikTok, and he was getting like, you know, 50k, 30k, 90k, like not even breaking 100k unless he got lucky. Like no one cared. And he was actually falling off. And what's really sad is he's realized that, oh my God, I'm actually going to fall off until, you know, unless I post myself drinking again. Yeah, you got all these videos, like 500 likes, like literally no one cares. This is literally what I get on my TikTok. And I've literally just started my page. Going to Providence tomorrow. Then Martha's Vineyard, and then the big day, St. Patrick's Day in Boston. The cat just stepped on the keyboard. But yeah, that was pretty much all the kind of content he made. I'm going to Boston. But, you know, like I said in my original video, he's definitely someone that needs to be in, like, assisted living. Like, he can't, you know, he cannot function on his own. Because there are now TikToks I'm getting recommended to me of, like, people telling their own personal stories of how, like, they would see Josh just blackout drunk, like, on the subway. The cat. Don't stay away. She always steps on the keyboard. Yeah, uh, when did he start drinking again? Yeah, again, like, no one cared. No one cared. And then 60,000 likes. Hmm, I wonder why this one blew up. Hmm, curious. 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 And there we go. There is the first drink 
Our first filmed drink in months. We are so back. This is the worst thing, right? Because he's built an entire community of people that just want to see him fall. Which is, like, basically my community, to be fair. But, like, you know, like, like people that have their profile pictures as his mugshot. Being like, drinks are back, ladies and gentlemen, we are so back. Because that's all they cared about. I've even seen comments basically saying that they only re-followed him again on TikTok because he started drinking. I think he went quiet for a little bit. He kind of realized, like, uh, oh, no, never mind. There he is. Yep. Yeah, drinking again. Nice. Drink tracker intro. Yeah, you'll see this comment a lot as well. Drink tracker intro because it's people that are just like, you know, because they know that drink track. Because drink tracker, like I said, is an account that was tracking Josh's alcohol intake. But then he had nothing to talk about. So he basically stopped doing it because he's like, well, I've got nothing to talk about. Like, like it's obvious that Josh is still drinking. He's just not filming himself doing it, which is even worse, if anything. Um, yeah, there is walking into oncoming traffic. Very safe. And and here he is just so, so obviously just drunk out of his mind. Just, just filming. I've seen videos of Josh and he just always has like his phone in his hand. And then he's got a power bank connected to his phone in the other hand. I'm having a hangover and I was feeling better until I watch your stream. You're hungover. Josh, is that you? Is that you, Josh? Still no views? Yeah, well, they're fluctuating that, right? Whenever he's not posting alcohol, it flops. But whenever he posts alcohol, like I, I like th this one actually turbo juiced, and it's nothing to do with like uh, th this one's a weird one. No one's pinching me tomorrow, because obviously he was getting ready for St. Patrick's Day weekend. I'll be honest, like I'm, I'm like half Irish, and I didn't even know St. Patrick's Day was a thing. I just, I just did not care. Uh, but yeah, h here he is getting the uh, the Jack Septicai fade, as I like to call it. Very nice, very nice. You know the music was blasting when he's recording this. I really want to play the songs, but but I just can't because copyright is just aid. And there he is, the first drink. Drink tracker coming out of retirement. I just want one drink tracker video. I miss him. Such a natural, not painful looking smile at all. Yeah, he just does not look happy. He does not look happy. Yeah, that looks awful. I mean that that looks good. I like, I like, it, it's really sad as well, like, the, the engagement loop that TikTok has, because he's re, I mean, he's obviously, like, he's got learning disabilities, right? Like, like, not even as a bit, like, like, he is literally just, like, not all there, right? But even he is probably aware that the only reason he's now starting to get relevance again is because he's drinking. So, you know, you'll have, uh, this video here where there's no alcohol, I mean, that's probably alcohol, but, but again, like, it's not him drinking, like, and going... So no one cares, like like no one's sharing it, no one's retweeting it or reposting it, whatever you call it on TikTok. So yeah, it's just really sad that he has to do this to get some kind of money, to get income. It's like, uh, it's just a really negative feedback loop. Pyro Christmas dinner. Okay, I will be honest. Mine looked worse than that. Mine looked worse than that. Editors put it on screen. Mine looked worse than that, but mine did have more protein, so technically a better meal. But uh, I, I've shown videos already of, like, uh, Josh and how he's just, you know, he sat there on the train, random people are filming him, and he's like, I'm gonna die. I'm an alcoholic. I can't go two hours without a drink. And then people are just filming him, and it's like, oh, no, you'll be all right, bro. You'll be all right. Like, like they're obviously filming Josh just to get their own fill of content for their own TikTok as well. Yeah, he's going hard. I, I, I know the meme with, like, Irish people being alcoholics and like Patrick St. Patrick's Day is like where people drink to absolute excess. But this is uh this is definitely like every single what the hell is he doing? What the hell is he doing? No one will pinch me in Boston. Don't give a fuck. It's not a major It's St. Patrick's Day. We really don't give a fuck. It's not a major holiday. It's really not, bitch. You act like it's fucking Damn. Christmas or something. Fuck you and St. Patrick's <laughs> Someone commented saying, this might be your most accurate lip sync. That, that, that's all he does. Like, like the rest of the TikTok, he just has his mouth shut. Yeah, and there he is going to Boston. Oh my god, he's drinking a Borg. He's drinking a Borg. What's, what's a Borg again? It's like Blackout RG. What does it mean again? Chat, so, someone tell me. What's a Borg? I remember seeing like TikToks of the majors ago, like two years ago. I swear he's like two years late to the Borg as well. Blackout Rage Gallon. 
Oh, they put like trend in it as well. Yeah, this is uh, it's it's not looking good for your boy. It's not looking good. I thought that was a subway flag for a second. And the worst thing is, he's gonna get recognized so much, and they're all just gonna keep giving him more alcohol to drink. He's just gonna get more and more and more. So he's gonna get absolutely wasted. I need to I need to see if Drink Track is back. Oh my god. Bro is gonna be overstimulated soon. Captain full steam ahead. It really just goes to show, though, right, that the internet can make absolutely anyone famous. It's crazy. The internet really does, like, he's just facing the wrong way. Like, these poor people in front that actually want to see the, the march and the parade. And he's like, I gotta film this. Like, just downing a white claw. I think that's the end of it, actually. That might be the end of Josh's little drinking saga. I hope so. Oh, Jesus Christ. No, never mind. He still kept going. Oh, my God. Oh my god, how many more did- Oh my god! How many did he post?! Bro, this is like a week-long bender! Oh my god! How did he- Oh yeah, he looks like he's enjoying that. Oh, he really looks like he's enjoying that drink, yep. Why is he so- he's so pale. Yeah, the internet can make anyone famous, even you pookie bear. Alright, that's a fair point. I'll give you that one. Is that in Long Island? It's probably a Long Island. Having a drink at your home destination airport is diabolical. Okay, that one's true. That one's true. Like, if you, if you go to the airport and you're going to get on the plane and you got to kill, like, three hours, you might get, like, a beer or something, right? But, yeah, like, like drinking when you land, that is awful. Like, like as soon as I land off a flight, I just want to go home and go to bed. Like, that is the biggest priority. Because I know, like, I've still got such a huge day of traveling ahead. <laughs> oh my god. Is he at the same airport, by the way? Is he just sat in the same airport? Oh god. Oh my god. He wants the drink tracker to know it's war. Okay, this 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 is actually not even funny anymore. Why does Josh kinda look like Gordon Freeman? He does not look like Gordon Freeman. Why'd you laugh at that? He doesn't look like that's so messed up. That's so me okay. Let him let him cook. He might be he might be Gordon Freeman. He might be Gordon Freeman. Dude, imagine, like, Joshua Block in the HEV suit, man. That, that thing would have to be, like, pumping him full of, like, electrolytes just to keep him alive. Jesus. This one isn't music, so I can actually play it. Thank you! Thank you! I can't stand living paycheck to paycheck anymore. It sucks. Like, he wonders why he's living paycheck to paycheck. Firstly, you've got a manager, Michael, who is literally leeching everything off you. Every chance he gets. Literally telling you, Bro, you can be an alcoholic, that's fine. Just just don't do it on camera. Who the hell tells someone that? And then on top of that as well, he's wasting all of his money on booze. Like, he drinks so much alcohol. I remember seeing one video of a tour that Josh does where he takes people around New York, and I've I shown this in the previous video, but it was so bad that you had to pay extra just so you were basically paying for Josh's beer money. If he doesn't drink, he dies here. That's the issue. Oh, yeah, no, I remember seeing him on a podcast and he was saying, like, you know, he's like, I have shakes when I don't drink. Like, he probably is actually getting, like, delir uh, delirium tremors, or whatever the buzzword is. I don't know if he'll die. I don't know, but he needs, he needs help. He needs help. It just sucks he's in America and he's got a manager that treats him like absolute shit, World just wants to squeeze Freeman him. Freeman really being an alcoholic instead of stopping the combine. <laughs> and man, if Gordon had to save the entire world, he'd probably become an alcoholic as well. Stand living paycheck to paycheck anymore. It sucks. Why can't I be a millionaire like a lot of other people? Imagine posting this video when you're drunk and then waking up and not having absolute dread and anxiety of what you did or said online, and then you just keep it up anyway because it got views. That's that is crazy. Like, when did he post this? Okay, that was a day ago. 
And then, like, bro, two hours later, he went back to the hotel room, and then he started doing Fireball. I, I have tried Fireball. It is nasty, by the way. It is, it is just melted sugar. Actually, vile. It does not look good, man. It does not look good. The thing is, as well, because he's not, like, binge drinking at one point in the day. He's doing it throughout the day as well. So his body is actually never detoxing that alcohol, apart from, like, the only time he isn't drinking is when he's sleeping. This might not be alcohol. We, he, okay. Oh, for fuck's sake, it's alcohol. Yep. What, why would it be in a cardboard box? What's wrong with America? Like, th th this, if you get containers like this of liquid, it's either coconut water or it's just water. What, why, why is it alcohol? He already looks wasted. I, I don't even think his kidneys and liver have been able to filter out the alcohol from, like, the night before. Isn't it illegal to drink in public as well? Like, that's why he always has the brown bag. Yep, great. Just pour it on the floor. Yep. He looks so happy. Yep. He's, dro he's literally drooling with excitement. He's drooling with excitement from the alcohol. Entry. Like, it's a fireball as well. It's like the worst kind of alcohol imaginable. I remember doing that with Chad once and it just tasted like shit. Just treacle sugar. <laughs> it's one beer! It's one beer! How can he... It, it, imagine if this was just his first drink and he just already looked like that as well. Oh, God. It's the fact that St. Patrick's Day is, like, already over, but he's still drinking the same amount. I mean, the only thing he's not having now is the Borg. But yeah, like, he just... Oh, God. It's, it's funny to watch, but it is also, like, actually majorly depressing. Because, like, the, the, I have seen comments of people saying that they only refollowed him hey, because Ira, he's been drinking. Could... I guarantee, though, like, with this situation, with, like, a lot of other people, is, uh... If he genuinely dies, like, if he dies from, like, liver cirrhosis or kidney failure or something from so much drinking, like, he goes into shock, then, like, you will have the same people that have been, like, mocking him and doing all these comments being like, yeah, I'm happy that he's drinking again. Like, oh, I'm only following him because he's drinking. And then those will be the same people that will turn around and be like, oh! <gasps> You people are monsters! How could you? How how could you pressure a man to die? But he need, he needs intervention. Like, like, he's learning disabled. He needs to be in assisted living. That is like him drinking a water in between drinking. That white claw. That That's so bad. What happened to his face?! What happened to his face? He's so good. He's getting worse in every TikTok. He's getting more and more cuts and bruises on him. He's getting... Okay, th this has to be makeup or something, right? Why is everyone just copy-pasting Fortnite as a popular... Hair, I'm just hoping he'll say, have I ever told you how I got these scars? Alcoholism. Okay, he looks... Okay, he looks okay now. He looks okay now. So maybe it wasn't cuts. Maybe it was just, like, makeup. He might have actually been doing that to look worse for content engagement basing. That's the face I make when I'm downing, like, a bottle of sparkling water. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, that's the last video he posted. Right, let's see uh, Michael Quinn. Okay, he has been doing updates. He's been walking around fucking Disney World, apparently, while Josh has been trying to end his life. Okay. All right, let's ignore that one. Drink tracker guy's making a mess. So I just got off the phone with Joshua, and he said that the drink tracker guy is responsible. And I agree with him. Oh my God, this is like porn tier acting. Like, like, I, li I like how Michael's trying to act like he's like really invested and offended. How is it, how is it the drink tracker's fault for tracking Josh's drinks as a form of, like, public humiliation to get him to stop? If you get publicly humiliated for something, you either, like, you stop completely out of embarrassment, or you double down. So it just makes zero sense. Like, why Josh? <sighs> He's just such a useless manager, man. He was talking to his grandpa. Oh, that's right. Josh's grandpa's apparently still alive. So that's not Cap. That isn't Cap. I'll do whatever it takes to get Josh the support he needs. Why could you not just say this on video? Why do you need the wall of text like it's a memorial? I feel this is up there with, uh... This is up there with Travis Scott after the concert, and it's like black and white, and it's like... Oh, I just... I'm sorry, man. Like, fuck. Oh, God, what's he yapping about? The only time I look at... Okay, this, this just came out. This just came out. This is, like, new. Oh, no, I'm not a fan of Reddit. <laughs> I'm I'm not a fan of Reddit. I'm I'm not a fan of Reddit. Okay, let him cook. That is one of the most. Bre okay, the only thing I'll agree with Michael Quinn on is Reddit sucks. Okay, I I will agree on that. 
All right, th this one I don't think is going to be any content. Last night and early oh, this morning, wait, okay. and he looks great. And the Quinn effect. No, he doesn't look great. He doesn't look great. He does not look great. Bro, he looks washed out. So I like, like Michael Quinn literally said, he doesn't have cuts on his face anymore in third degree burns. He looks great. He looks great. Did a wellness check on Joshua late. A wellness check is his fat ass sat on the sofa and he's like, uh, Josh, you okay? And Josh goes, I'm an alcoholic. And then Quinn probably goes, no, you're not, buddy. It's fine. It's fine. And then just hangs up. That That's probably the whole wellness check. Last night and early this morning, and he looks great. And the Quinn effect is definitely working. Did bro just, did, did bro just call, did bro just give a t I didn't hear that right. Like, surely that was like, surely that was like a glitch in my in my laptop speaker or something like that. There's no way he literally said the Quinn effect. There's no way he literally turned around and said, that's the Quinn effect. What's the Quinn effect? Him being an alcoholic? Probably. He's going to be spending the next two nights in a hotel. Is definitely Look at that smile down there. Looks like he added the smile filter on himself. It's not even real. Oiro. Oiro. Working. He's going to be spending the next two nights in a hotel in the city. And later this afternoon, he'll be in Sunnyside. I hope he keeps it up, and I hope he stays healthy. He's going to spend two nights in a hotel on his own in the middle of New York. How is this good? There's no mention of rehab or anything. Like, like how is this good? What's Sunnyside? I, ho I hope that's a rehab center. Let's have a look. It's literally just a neighborhood in Queens. But that's not... I thought he meant a rehab center. It's literally just an area in Queens. Like, great, bro. He's going to get, like, even more bars there. Like, you've seen videos of him drinking fireballs, like, in his room, on his own. So, it's obvious that he's not gonna stop. Like, like, also, keep in mind at no point, Michael never says at any point that Josh has a problem, or he's working on it. He just, he just says, Josh was fine when I called him, and that's it. Bro did fingers crossed on a guy's life. That's wild. I don't think he's found sobriety. It's the Quinn effect. Quinn army. I like how the Quinn army is five people. And it's obvious as well, he's he's vesting these comments himself. It's probably just him on, like, six burners. What a horrible human being to, like, get someone into being an alcoholic, and then when they become, like, sober, you know, just not drinking on camera, you then take full responsibility of it. Like, it is insane how out of touch some people are. Oh, that was an older video. But even then, like, like the point still stands. Like, oh, right, let's see a drink tracker. So they're basically hiding Drink Tracker's content. TikTok is so weird with stuff like that. It's like, if you type in drink, I think it actually censors it out. Look at that. Yeah, it's so, like, TikTok is so stupid. Like, so if you type in drink, it's going to be like, oh no, he's on, like, Drink Tracker. But then if you type in, like, drink for... Yeah, there you go. Drink for you, drink for me. Like, like it still also fills. All right, let's, let's see this Drink Tracker video. The British are coming! The British are coming! Warning. Drinking this amount and this often is dangerous. Show my likes. That's a dangerous game. A very dangerous request. I need to look through my likes and see if I can show anything. Nah, there's no way I can show these. There's, there's no there's no way I can show these. Okay, I'll show you this one. This is the this is the only one you get. This is the only liked TikTok I'm gonna show you, okay? Okay, is it okay if I touch it? Yeah? Is it okay if I touch you? <laughs> Alright, back, back to Josh, back to Josh. Dangerous and will lead to alcohol dependency. Please drink responsibly. Welcome back, everybody. Today is the recap for yesterday, St. Patrick's Day, March 17th. Starting the day off strong with a Borg at 1 p.m. For everyone unfamiliar, Borg stands for Black Outrage Gallon. Now, there's tons of different ways to make these, but the most widely accepted... I know when they make Borgs, they usually just fill it up mostly with spirits, and then they put in a bunch of hydration powder in it as well, like electrolytes. So, the... The blackout drunkness is delayed by like 30 minutes. It is to just take a fifth of the cheapest liquor you can find, pour it into a three quarter full gallon jug of water, and then add in something like liquid IV, Mio, or any other like electrolyte type flavorings to make it a mixed drink. And then the idea is you bring this to whatever event you're going to and just 
drinking it over the course of a few hours or the whole day. Please don't do this. This is just a good way to land yourself in the hospital or get alcohol poisoning. The liquid IV and other electrolytes. I've never heard of a Borg until like, I think uh, a couple years ago. Cause I just remember seeing it being all over like college campuses in America and how people would just drink it. And then like half of them would just end up in the ER. It's, it's not a UK thing from what I've seen, but yeah, just, just a gallon of grog. Uh Belch. that you pour into this gallon do not cancel out the effects of the alcohol on your body it's better to be hydrated but yeah this is not a good thing to do please be safe anyway so it's pretty good to assume here that this is not josh's board someone in chat said heals 75 hp 50 shield i think it does do that but then it does the poison knock off like one damage every tick and instead it's probably somebody who saw him on the street who had one and josh looked interested and he gave yeah i'll be honest i don't think josh has the mental capacity to make a borg himself that like without like dying i i don't even mean that as like a bit because he's learning impaired i i genuinely think if you if you asked him to make a borg he would have no idea and he'd probably just end up pouring like kerosene into a into a jug and then dying so yeah, I yeah, that's definitely someone else's book. Him some of his. He probably drank a good two standard drinks out of this jug of liquor. So at 1 p.m., two standard drinks, free because somebody gave it to him, and 200 calories. At 2 p.m., we have a shooter of. Isn't Everclear like 70 percent? To... Dr. McGillicuddy's mint menthol alcohol. Mint menthol alcohol. That sounds disgusting. Why would you want mint flavored alcohol? Have you not had mint too? Mean to? Yeah. What is that? Like a mint flavor of schnapps. Oh. oh yeah, but schnapps are awful though. I put it in hot chocolate. I mean, that'd be nice, but again, like, if it's shit on its own, it's not really worth it. These are right around... But like, mint menthol, I just think of like, you know when you get like, menthol cigarettes? No. No, but you've seen them, right? Yeah. yeah. Three quarters of a standard drink, so this will be 0 0.75 standard drinks, one dollar and a hundred calories. Also, a two oh my god, there's so many nose emojis in chat. Get the female away from me, I'm scared. Is the majority of this chat just closet gay? Stop with that emoji. Mint alcohol sounds good, mint menthol sounds dog shit. Yeah, it's like I remember seeing like packs of cigarettes that would have like uh menthol flavor in them, or like a mint flavor, but it's like that just sounds awful. Also, smoking in general is also awful. Calories and 200 calories. Also, a Wait, what's that? Cause light and like a. Why is it such a big cause light? What are you doing? Silly cat. PM, a cause light silver bullet. These are one pint of beer. We'll call this 1.33 standard drinks, $5 and 200 calories. Also, at 2 p.m., we have drink number four, which is a truly for. It's more racking. One thing I want to know is like. How does Josh drink so much and he's not just a complete land whale? Because what he's drinking is a lot of it is like beers and uh, kind of like white claw stuff, but with like a lot of sugar and a lot of calories, like not actual white claw. So how is he not just like a blob? Because he's probably getting like an extra 3000 calories every single day. He doesn't eat. He doesn't eat food. Uh, yeah, I actually no that. That's a very good point because whenever you whenever you see him eat food, it's like he will just... Uh, It'll be like one TikTok every three days where he's eating. And I, I, unironically, because he documents everything in his life, that could be the only time he eats. He will go to a restaurant like once every three days. What's the cat's name? Uh, Kaya. It's Kaya, right? Yeah. Yeah, Swedish cat. Your drink, $5 and 100 calories. At 3 p.m., the fifth drink of the day, we're at a... Not the Zin. Not the Zin. Zin bros, we lost another one. A bar restaurant called Ned's Divine in Boston. Looking at the menu from How don't bite me. their website, the drink that most closely matches the one that Josh was drinking. This is one thing that's crazy about Drink Tracker, and I've said this so many times. Because he's an ex-alcoholic, like self-admitted, he's almost projecting the hatred of alcohol onto Josh. Almost like, if I embarrass him, I can cure him. But like, Drink Tracker will literally find the restaurants that Josh is at, go through their drinks menu, and then do process of elimination to find out which drink is actually his. Would be the blueberry lemonade. We're gonna call this about 1.5 standard drinks, $15 and 300 calories. Another drink at 3 p.m. We have a pint of some kind of beer dyed green for 1.33 standard drinks, $8 and 200 calories. At 5 p.m. of course we have to have a pint of Samuel Adams. He's already nearing 2,000 calories. 
And the daily human intake is like, what, 2,500? I mean, that's, that's an accurate shit, to be fair. But yeah, and it's... It's only 5 p.m. Like, he, this is just getting started for him. Another 1.33 standard drinks, $8 and 200 calories. This looks like a mojito of some sort. It's in a large pint glass, so we're going to call this two standard drinks, $14 and 300 calories at 5 p.m. Now, I was tagged in this video. <laughs> uh, this was not posted to his channel, but this was at around 6 p.m. This looks like it would... Oh, God. That is actually such a good point as well. Like, can you imagine the amount of drinks that Josh is having that isn't documented on the Drink Tracker channel? This cat, man. Don't lie, she's lying on the keyboard. If she, if she lies on, on the wrong key, she could actually end stream. Was something like a 7-7 seven, seven or a whiskey Sprite, you know, something like that. We're just gonna call this one standard drink, $10 and 200 calories. At 7 p.m., a Corona for one drink, $8 and 100 calories. Also at 7 p.m., we have a Twisted Tea Shotgun for one drink, most likely free because I'm assuming one of these people behind him gave it to him, and 200 calories. And one more drink at 7 p.m., we have a Seagram's. These are lighter on the ABV scale. They're about 3.2%, and to compare that to something like a Coors Light, which is around 4 to 4.5%, 4 so this will be 0.75 standard drinks. I'm assuming this one was free and given to him as well and 100 calories he's basically spending like a hundred dollars a day on alcohol and then wondering why he has no money and at 8 p.m we are oh okay i'm not i'm not much into wine but i do know that this wine here is fucking awful it's it's like have you seen that before yeah it's like new zealand wine and it's got the foot on it and you only buy that if you've never drank wine before or you're an actual alcoholic because it's like the most cheap wine, like the amount of like sulfates in it and stuff, it, it, it is awful. You don't have to buy an expensive wine, but just don't buy like the cheapest one. Like instead of buying like a $4 one, you buy like, I don't know, like, like an eight or a $10 one. Because yeah, I've, I've heard no one say good things about this wine. On the train chugging an entire- Someone said New Zealand, already hate it. <laughs> bottle of wine. This is Barefoot's Pinot Grigio, which is at about 12.5 ABV. So there are five standard drinks in this entire bottle. I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt and say that he drank this over the span of two hours. Probably not true, but we're just going to kind of estimate here. So splitting that between 8 and 9 p.m., he'll have a total of five standard drinks, spend about $8 for the whole bottle, and the whole bottle has about 400 calories. His last post of the night was at about midnight. He has a Coors Light in a bottle for one drink, $6 and 100 calories. Taking a look at the totals for yesterday, Josh had a total of about 21 standard drinks on camera. He had a max B. 21 drinks in a day! Holy! AC of 0 0.35. He spent a total of 8. Wait. Wait. His max back was 3.5. Isn't it like if it goes over to 0 0.4, you're going to die? 0 0.3 to 0 0.4, you'll likely have alcohol poisoning a potentially life-threatening condition and experience loss of consciousness over four is potentially fatal blood alcohol level so he was literally just teetering on like possibly getting blood poisoning 88 dollars drank a total of 2700 calories in alcohol alone and was sober for about seven hours in the morning if he doesn't have any more alcohol looking at tomorrow he won't be sober until 10 p.m that's wild so then when he's done yeah that's it all right I think, I think we're done looking at, uh, at Josh and the, the misery. The misery he has, because that is, uh... Yeah, that is just pretty sad. <laughs>